in this video, you're going to learn how to create this hover box section on Elementor. As you can see, whenever I hover over a column, my background is going to change and my text is going to reveal. And we're also going to have a learn more button that we can click on. And same thing's going to happen to this column and the first one as well. So that's how that works. And that's what we're going to be creating. Now, this is all completely mobile optimized in case you're wondering. Hopefully you guys end up enjoying the video. If you do, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And I hope you guys enjoy. So let's begin. Now open up your Elementor editor. Now in case you're wondering, I'm using the interior designer template from Elementor Pro. So the first thing that we need to do is add a section. I'm going to add my section right under here. So add one section, one column, and then go ahead and grab an intersection and make sure that intersection has two columns. Now click on your intersection, go into the height, set that to minimum height, go to pixels, set that to 600, click on style, go into background type, click on classic, and then go ahead and add an image, add your image. I'm going to add this one here. Go ahead and set the size to cover, click on background overlay, add a background type, Add the color black, set your opacity to 0 0.37, go into border, add a border radius of 10 to each side, go into advance, add a CSS class, make sure it's called BG inner section, go to your elements, search for the image box, go ahead and drag your image box, remove your image, go back to your elements, grab your heading. Add that right under your image box. Change the text to learn more. Go into style. Change the text color to white. Click on typography. Make sure you're using Monster It, or you can use any font you like. Change the font size to 15. Change the weight to 400. Set the transform to uppercase. Exit out of your typography. Go into advance. Go into width. Set it to inline. Now, very important. Set your vertical align to the end. Now go back to your elements. Go ahead and grab your spacer element. Add that right above your image box. Have that set to zero. Click on your first column inside your intersection. On your vertical alignment, set that to space between. On your horizontal alignment, set that to the center. Now go back to your image box. Click on it. Change the headline to the lake. Now go into style. Go into content. Change your color to white. For the heading and the description, click on your title's typography, have the size be 35, have the weight bold, and then change the transform to uppercase. Now go to your description, set it to 15, set the weight to 400. Now set the spacing to zero. Now on your image box, go into advance and add a CSS class of image img box one, just like this. Now go into your learn more heading and go to advance. Now go into your learn more heading. Go to advance on your CSS classes. Go ahead and type learn dash BTN dash one. Now, instead of having a heading for your learn more, you can use a button instead and just add the same class and that will work the exact same way. Now go into your column, your first column inside your intersection, go into custom CSS and go ahead and paste the CSS that I've provided. And that will go ahead and give us that effect that we need. I will go over the CSS towards the end of the video. But for right now, we're just going to set all this up. And then from here, let's go ahead and duplicate this column. Duplicate, duplicate. And then let's go ahead and delete these empty columns. Now let's just change the name. Now let's call this the woods. And then let's change the name of our last column. And let's call this the farm. Now go on to your second column. Go to your advance and add a class of column dash two. Now go into your third column. Go to advance. Add another class of column dash three. Instead, make sure you change that to dash three. Now go into your elements, type in HTML. Go ahead and drag your HTML element right under your intersection. It has to be right under. So it should be right here. As you can tell, if I were to close all this off, and close my intersection, it's right under my, my intersection. That's exactly where we want it. And it has to be under for it to work. It cannot be over here. It has to be under our intersection. Now in your HTML element, go ahead and paste this code, extend this a little bit. So right now, now if we were to test this, we can see that it's going to change to a background of gray. That's just because we haven't added our background images yet. So now we just need to grab the URL of the images that we want to use for each background. 
So let's go into um, this section and then go just go into style or you can just go into WordPress and look at your media library and then go ahead and just grab the image URL. I'm just doing it this way. So I'm going to grab this one and this one is the farm. So I'm going to copy this URL and I believe this one is going to be my last one. So I'm going to click on my HTML block and I'm going to paste it right in here. I'm going to remove the spacing and then just add it right in there, right between those brackets. So now, as you can tell, whenever I hover this one, we're going to get the right image. You see that? And we're going to have that cool transition effect. Now we just need to do it for the woods. And that's going to be this one here. So let's go back and grab an image. And I'm going to grab this one here. I'm going to actually copy this to my clipboard. I'm going to remove this. And then I'm going to go back to my HTML. And then go ahead and paste it right in here. There we go. And as you can see, it works perfectly now. Let's go ahead and update this. And we can see that it's working perfectly. Now, the last thing is I need to make sure that I mobile optimize this. So let's go into tablet. And the only thing that we need to change is just make sure that our text here is set to 15 for the size. And I'm going to speed this up because I just need to do this to all of them. So now that's fixed. Now let's go into um, mobile and let's basically do the same thing. So on each button or learn more, make sure you set the text 15 or just remove it and it'll do it by default anyway. You will probably not have this issue because it's already going to be set by default. So now the last thing that I want to go over real quick is just go over the CSS. So, and then maybe I'll go over the script a little bit. So if I go to the CSS here, basically this one here is so then we can have a transition effect for everything. And then we set up a margin on this at the bottom of our learn more, um, of our learn more button, just so then it can go ahead and hide. It is very important. And then our main, our main selector here, as you can tell, whenever we hover over it, it's going to add a margin of 20, and it's going to basically bring this learn more button back to the top whenever we hover. Basically what that does, and then this adds a overflow hidden to our selector, so then our text isn't sticking out over here. And then right here, we have our selector element image description, and this is just so then we can add um, an opacity of zero whenever, the, whenever we're not hovering over our, our uh, column here. And it does the same thing. So if I hover over this, it's going to set the opacity of the text to one. And then right here, it's going to add an overflow hidden to the box. And it's also going to add a transition. And it's going to add a max height of, of 50. Now this part is very important, guys, because the reason is, is if I were to set this max height to maybe um, 80, you would see here, you can't really tell yet. Let me actually delete this. Let me um, comment that one out. You can see that the box I don't know if you can kind of see it, but basically you can see that the box gets extended and and um, the text is a little bit higher than than all the rest and it's not lined up properly. So we just need to make sure that it's set to the right spot because we can set this to about 20 and you see how it'll be cut off. We set this to 30, to 40, and to 50. I think you're getting the idea there. That's pretty much how that works. So that just depends on the size of your font. So you can go ahead and just adjust that accordingly so it doesn't get cut off in case you have that issue. Now I'm going to go ahead and just comment this back here. And then we have just a selector for hover. So we have this effect here. And that's pretty much how that works. And then I have a script which changes my background whenever we hover over each column. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that with CSS. I believe it's because Elementor has an issue um with their hover effect when it comes to uh sections so that's how we had to do this method instead it's very simple basically we're just targeting um the second column whenever we hover over that it's going to add um our background image to the entire intersection um and then if we hover out it's going to go ahead and revert it back to how it was and same thing for um column three it's going to do the same thing um change the background image for the section and then if we hover out it's going to revert it back to how it was. Last thing I almost forgot, we need to add a borderline to our middle column here. So click on your middle column, go into style, go into border, go ahead and border type, set that to solid, unselect this. From your right, set that to one, 
and then on your left set that to one go ahead and choose white and go ahead and bring that opacity and that's what that's going to do it's going to add this little separator here so you can tell that looks a lot more cleaner now we just need to do the same thing for mobile the middle column go back to border and then on your solid go ahead instead of the left and right let's do top and bottom set that to one and then set that to one at the bottom there top and bottom so there we go and that's pretty much it if you guys do have any questions on this just make sure to comment down below and i'll definitely try to help you guys out